Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. This week's video is a very fitness focused video. This is episode two of my marathon training series. So we are gonna be following me along on my whole week's worth of training. This is everything that I did this week in week two of my marathon training plan. This week was very, very intense. It's literally week two and I'm already like, oh my god, what have I got myself in for? I feel like it really hit me this week that I'm following a marathon training plan and I'm going to be running a marathon. I feel like last week I just had like so much excitement that I wasn't really thinking about it and this week I was like, oh, I'm actually doing this. Like I'm going to run a marathon. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy a week's worth of workouts with me. Hello everyone and welcome to day one out of six of training for this week's training plan. So if you guys watched last week's episode one of the marathon training series, you will have seen me try to do an easy run. That is what we're going to try and do again today. So the first thing we're doing this week is a 14 kilometer easy run. So that basically means I'm trying to keep my heart rate in zone two. In order to do that, this has to be a very, very slow run. I was going way too quickly last week. My heart rate was still quite high. Hopefully I'm going to find it a little bit easier today. It's just way harder harder than it seems to run slowly but it's fine we're gonna get it done today we're doing 14 kilometers which is around nine miles in case anybody does work in miles i'm still trying to do the little trade over the point of these runs and the point of training in zone two is to build up your aerobic capacity and endurance levels so in turn these are the runs that are going to help me run faster and longer in the long term. I have actually invested in a GoPro. This will get us some better content today. I am conscious that I'm going to have to run with this and my phone. This vest is actually from Amazon. I will link it in the description box because this is the best one that I found. Right, so I've obviously got water in this one here. I'm going to pop my GoPro down here. Then we're going to pop my phone here. It's fine, it's not bouncing around too much. And then headphones, inhaler and keys i'll see you guys on the run so <laughs> the gopro is dead love that i literally forgot to charge for so long so god knows why but heart rate is staying around 160 which is good i literally feel like i'm running at snail's pace it basically feels like i'm like running in like slow motion but we're at kilometer two now so it's not <laughs> the current weather situation is not ideal the fact that i can't even speed up to get home quicker right now <laughs> is really pissing me off Oh my god, it's literally like torrentially raining. Right, so we have just hit 7k, so we turn around and we're running back home. This honestly doesn't even feel like I'm on a run. I was like, I'm gonna get home. I feel like I need to do some exercise. But it feels good. I've really settled into the pace now. It does have a few spikes here and there, but I feel like that's kind of expected. But I feel like I know the pace you need to be running up to keep my heart rate down. So yeah, so everyone's always missing them at home. The weather in Manchester literally the most bipolar thing in the world it's so nice and sunny now so we just hit 10k we've only got four more kids to go i'm back that was surprisingly like a lot better than i thought it was gonna go like i actually really enjoyed it like it was nice to run and not at any point be like oh my god i feel absolutely like f-u-c-k-e-d like i just felt nice throughout the whole run kept my heart rate on average at 161 which is perfect i wanted to aim for like 160 so really really happy with that pop all my like stats and stuff in here i think let me have a little look at my activity i don't know if it's loaded yet so that took me an hour 30 and the pace was like a lot slower than i would normally do so i'm trying not to look at that and be like oh my god you're so slow because that was literally the whole point I'm gonna go and stretch and hopefully start some recovery process for my hamstrings i don't even know if i'm emotionally prepared to tell you how long it's just taken me to get to the gym Anyway, good morning, guys. We are off to train pull, push. We are training pull today. We have got a pull session. Honestly, my legs are screaming for this break. I am so excited to just be training upper body and like literally leaving my legs alone for a day. So I'm not gonna waste too long because it literally has just taken me an hour to get to the gym. Yep, I'm talking about it, it happened. I forgot my headphones, I tried to go to the gym early, I got stuck in the rush hour traffic and then decided to turn around to go back for my headphones. But it's fine, we move, positive vibes for the pool session today.
like me, there's like no other way to round. We feel like you literally can't go up, like on the lap pull down, you literally can go up to 35 from like 27. The jump is just like quite big sometimes. So what you can focus on is doing your reps slower, and way more controlled, putting your muscles under tension for a longer amount of time, make them work harder. It's just like a different way to progressive overload without increasing your weight. So a lot of people think in order to progressive overload, you have to increase the weight, but you don't. It's just about putting your muscles under a bit more tension so they're working harder and different to how they normally do. So with this, these little babies, I'm <laughs> just trying to go slower. Also, this is on my legs, killing. We've literally got this, then we've got a nice little circuit at the end to finish this off with. <laughs> My arms are literally shaking right now. <laughs> that circuit at the end has finished me off. I literally feel like I've toasted my arms to the point of no return. That little circuit at the end, honestly, I love doing like burnouts and things like that. Shreddy always had them on their workouts and I just fucking love them because they just literally get the endorphins pumping. They get you getting a bit of a sweat on because sometimes with weightlifting, especially with arm sessions, you don't get that sweaty and it can mean that you leave and you're like, oh, have I really like worked that hard? Because a lot of us relate sweat to working hard, which definitely isn't the case. But I just feel like throwing that in at the end of the workout, getting a really quick sweat on, getting the endorphins pumping like leaves you in the best position to leave the gym feeling like oh my god i have worked as hard as humanly possible there so yeah buzzing with that workout we've got a long run tomorrow the weather is still not looking good so i'm feeling like it's going to be a waterproof kind of jobby but i will see you guys in the morning for an 18 kilometer run i am currently resembling somebody off on like an sas mission however the weather it was so nice and sunny this morning, guys. The sun was shining, the sky was like orangey blue, but I had physio this morning, so I couldn't run. And now I have no choice but to go out in the rain, so it's fine. It's just very wet. I have some waterproofs on that my dad bought me for Christmas, which we're gonna be trying out today. We have also got the GoPro. The GoPro is ready to go. Let me just actually double check before we run off with it this time. Yes, love that. So hopefully we can get some good running footage. So we're doing 18 kilometers. This is the longest run I've done since like before Christmas, so in a while. I'm gonna try out an energy gel. I've never ever tried one of these before in my life. These are from Morton. I got these off Amazon, very expensive, very, very expensive purchase, but we're gonna give it a go, we'll try it out. Also, I did get my eyebrows done yesterday, so they're looking extremely dark in case anyone is wondering. And it is hair wash day today, so we will be out of this slicked little greasy bun, but there was literally no point washing it. I literally have so much stuff on me and I'm so hot right now because I have a long sleeve Lululemon and a waterproof. And I think the best thing to do is just head out. This is kind of ridiculous, isn't it, really? I just want to give you guys some context of the weather conditions right now. This is by far the worst weather I've ever, ever run in. Oh my God. It's not even one kilometer in. I'm already second guessing my decisions. We're now three kilometers in, I think. Three and a half. The rain has kind of stopped. I definitely spoke way too soon. The weather has got so bad again, oh my god. It's fine, it's kind of one of those things like, I don't know what the weather's like gonna be on the day of the marathon, so if I can run in this now, if it's like this on the day, I'll be more prepared for that. It doesn't make any less gross. Also, I'm just trying really hard to like, not tense my upper body. I hold so much tension in it when I run in, and obviously when it's cold, I can feel it like, seizing up and running like that already, so. Yeah, we're about 5k now. We've only got 4 more k and then turn around and we're on the way back, so we're basically home. <laughs> Just hit 10k around 54 minutes. So 
8k to go and then we're home. Right, we've got 5k left to go. I'm not feeling too tired, it's just my arms, but we're gonna push through, put some good tunes on. We'll be home in like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, <laughs> what, what was that noise? Oh, that was a tough one. That was like, I felt like my marathon training has started now. Like we're there, <laughs> it's tough. Wow, I'm gonna de, de clothe take all of these layers off and we can chat about what just happened. That honestly was absolutely perfect. And then I hit the last three kilometers and it's the endurance in my body, like cardiovascularly. I literally was like, my lungs, like I, I stop and I'm not out of breath. Like I can keep going fitness wise, but that was like the endurance of my feet and my lower back and my legs. They just haven't run that long for a while I mean I feel good now like I think at the end then I just was like this shouldn't be this hard like how am I gonna run a marathon every single little bit of South Dell just went whoosh, straight to the front of my head on that last two kilometers and I was like you're not gonna be able to do it maybe you're just not a marathon runner I was actually like maybe some people are just born for half marathons and not marathons and maybe I'm one of these people and I was like maybe I should google if like some people physically cannot do marathons but that is just so typical of me like I'm absolutely fine I just need to have a really big stretch and stretch out my upper body that i've never experienced that before i think that really got into my head like i feel so tight around here and when i ran with my dad once he was like kid like put your arms down because i run like this and i'm so tense but that's just something that i need to work on also like this process was never going to be easy feeling a lot more positive than when i just finished i've literally just downed so much water oh also those gels all that did was give me a dry mouth. Anyway, I'm gonna stretch out because that is definitely something that I need to be working on. I'm gonna stretch out, have a shower, probably have a bath, to be honest. I feel like I need a bath after that. And then I'll see you guys for, I think we're doing a gym day next. I think the next thing on the list is a gym day. Hello everyone. I was about to say good morning, but it's not the morning. It is the afternoon. <coughs> Let me start that again. <coughs> Hello everyone, good afternoon. We are back, we are at the gym. I am so excited for today's session. I don't know what's in the air today, but like I am just living my best life. Also, it probably is because if you haven't noticed, I finally got my hands on the Lululemon jacket. It is as of today in stock. I doubt it will be by the time I release a video, but if it is, I will link it for you guys. This jacket has been on my wish list for the longest amount of time. And I literally went in Selfridges today and I had it hung up in my size. And I was like, this is just meant to be. So I will be wearing it for as long as humanly possible throughout this training session. I have actually got a new Lulu sports bra on as well. I did fancy treating myself a little bit but yeah just buzzing for today's session feel like i'm just gonna go in headphones on block the world out and just smash this workout so we're doing posterior chain workout today which is basically back bum hamstrings lats that's it i am so ready for it so so excited so yeah let's just head in and get it done down it's supposed to be a super set so it's supposed to go lat pull down straight into plank then straight into the press ups but the lat pull down is like right in the middle of the gym and I'm just not confident enough in my passive ability to be doing press ups in the middle of the gym at the moment so I just do them separately.
Right, let's have a debrief post-workout. I don't know how I feel after that. I just, it was a really good session. The actual session itself was like really good. I felt like I still pushed really hard on everything I was doing. I just, I had like some work stuff going on on my phone and I feel like it just really like knocked me out of the zone. You know when you're just a bit like, oh, like I'm taking too long in between sets because now I'm like replying to this and doing this. Just struggled to like stay in like the gym zone that I was in when I was in there because I was thinking about other things by the end of it basically. But apart from that, good session. It was quite a fun session. I've never done just like a posterior chain workout. We've got interval training next on the training list, which is the one that i absolutely hated last week so yeah i will see you guys for interval training good morning guys welcome back to another training day we all know what day it is it is interval training day so slight change to plan i did originally go and do my intervals outside it is raining again in manchester and i just thought we can do interval training on the treadmill and I feel like it will actually be more beneficial because I can get into a really good flow of it. I'm gonna head downstairs to my gym in my building. Hopefully a treadmill is free and we will just smash it out. That is the zone that I'm in today. We've had a bit of a bad start to the day, but we're not gonna let that get us down. We're gonna channel our energy into our workout and we're just gonna smash it out. wet after that oh my god that form of training i'm gonna stretch while i'm talking to you that form of training literally makes me sweat like there is no tomorrow so that is interval training ticked off for the week that definitely went a lot better than last week obviously it's really different training inside to training outside but i'm glad that i did that one inside because i feel like i could maintain that pace that i was on for that whole minute whereas last week when i was doing it i was like going as hard as possible for like it would be like 30 40 seconds and then i'd be like oh my god i can't give anymore but like with that you just you just keep going i don't know what it is about a trip but like you just keep going i feel like i'm gonna watch it back and be like oh my god you're not even going very fast but that was probably i'd say like a 70 80 percent push I didn't wanna like go too hard and end up doing what I did last week and not be able to maintain it for the minute. So I know that I can maintain that for a minute now. So I think if I've got that next week, I'll do it outside and then just try and get that pace and then I'll build it up from there rather than trying to like do too much too soon like I did last week and literally end up like throwing my vest on the floor. Yeah, I literally had a paddy in the middle of the field and like threw my vest on the floor. So I am so excited to train glutes tomorrow training with my best friend Rosie. We're gonna be smashing our glutes in the AM. Good morning guys, we have just arrived at the gym. It is currently 10 to 9 in the morning on a Saturday. So I am feeling a little bit sleepy, but this is the day that I've literally been looking forward to all week. It is glute day. On my training program, this does actually say heavy glute day. So I'm going to be trying to lift as hard and heavy as possible. I honestly want my bum cheeks to feel like they've been like punched in the morning. That's kind of like the vibe that I'm going for today.
I have now returned from my gym session. I'm literally looking around because I got back from the gym and we're going out for my best friend's birthday tonight. So we're having pre's here. So I've literally run back before she gets here and blown up like 30 balloons, thrown confetti everywhere, got a sign up. So <laughs> that in itself was a workout. I probably should have documented that. That is my final workout of the week. I'm taking a rest day tomorrow. I am also obviously going out tonight and I'm going to be drinking way too much tequila. So tomorrow's rest day is definitely going to be needed. But I hope you guys have enjoyed sticking with me for a week's worth of workouts. Six days is a lot. However, I am training for a marathon. I also really wanted to come into this year and just absolutely push my fitness to the max. Like I want to make progress this year that I've never ever made before. And I feel like this training plan and working with Lucy is doing exactly that. Like it's literally week two, but like the improvements I'm already seeing, like I was lifting 100 kg on my hip thrust today, which I haven't done in the longest amount of time. I do definitely think it helps training with someone like that was such a fun little end to my training week. I'm not going to jabber on too much. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.